Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So today we are checking out Fractal. So Fractal is a new NFT marketplace, uh, just working on Solana at the moment, but effectively coming to other blockchains um, in the future. Uh, Fractal is interesting, I guess, because it is, um, the, or the main guy behind it is, is Justin Can, um, who was one of the co-founders at uh, Twitch. So Twitch, when it first came out, was called Justin TV, uh, and he's the Justin behind um, Justin TV um, and and since Twitch and obviously Twitch sold for whatever it was billion dollars to Amazon just under a billion dollars so obviously he didn't get all that money but um, he, he's fairly uh, fairly fairly well off um, and he's into kind of crypto web three stuff um, and hence uh, Fractal has come along so it launched um, over Christmas and as I say it is an NFT marketplace what, what it's designed for is to be an NFT marketplace uh, for game assets so I think that the sort of vision thing here is if there are any uh, games uh, using uh, blockchain assets, um, hopefully NFTs, then you'll be able to trade them on Fractal. So obviously at the moment, you know, most of the NFT trading happens on OpenSea, but that's mainly um, for these very expensive um, sort of uh, avatar uh, P, uh, PFP uh, type um, kind of artworks, board, board apes, that sort of stuff. That's, so OpenSea has been where sort of game uh, Ethereum based sort of game stuff is happening and, and on Polygon um, you can do that sort of trading on OpenSea but OpenSea has sort of become, become this sort of different sort of um, sort of place um, and the thing is about most games I think as, as we get more blockchain games out there these are not going to be in many cases most of these assets the average price of these assets is going to be fairly low so maybe you know 10 to 100 dollars something like that maybe over time some of these assets will be you know there'll always be very expensive assets maybe bits of land or very sort of um, one-off sort of characters or skins or something like that. So we're, we're always in blockchain, we we'll always have these very expensive um, assets, but for the majority of us sort of just playing a game, um, we're going to have these sort of fairly low, uh, low-cost low assets. There's going to be sort of quite a lot of them. People are not going to necessarily trade them to make money. They might be trading them to sort of collect stuff or, or um, sort of, you know, um, do things in the game. So the idea behind Fractal is, is, I guess, it's sort of early. It's not really fulfilling that, that vision at the moment. Um, but, but we can start to get an idea what's going on here. So I'm logged in with my with my Solana um, wallet, or it's a wallet for Solana. Um, it's called Phantom Wallet. It's like a MetaMask for Solana. And what's interesting here is obviously it's sort of the stuff. It's a bit different to OpenSea, I guess. So it hasn't. Um, it's sort of much. It's not so not so many numbers. Um, so we've got this sort of idea of of kind of uh, here. We've got some what's going on, what's being listed here. Um, so um, I'm not sure about all of these sort of projects. Um, and we can see here recent sales. So um, it's sort of showing the data. I guess over time this will become better. Um, the UI will get better because it's not necessarily that useful at the moment. But we can kind of see what's going on here. So some uh, um, orrery uh, NFT being launched, being bought here. This is a mini uh, mini royale that we'll look at in a minute. Um, we can start to get an idea about about what's going on. Now we can see that actually. I'm not quite sure how quickly this updates, but this is 20 minutes ago. So I'm not quite sure why what's happened in the last 20 minutes. It seems like um, uh, it's not updated. Uh, or not updating in real time. Anyway, um, so we can see here trending game. So this hasn't really changed since the in the in the week that that this has gone live very much. So Panzer Dog has always been number one. Um, it's Orrery. Oh, I never know how to pronounce it. Orrory. Orrory. Um, fractal has its own NFT. So what you're seeing here is a fractal. It doesn't seem to be live yet, which is sort of really annoying. So they've, they've minted these things, and then you can't actually see what's going on <laughs> of their own NFTs on their marketplace. That's that's a bit weird, but that's that's just sort of how it is at the moment. Um, early days. Um, Gino Pet. So this is this. Um, what they call a war, a move move to earn sort of game, sort of an idea of a sort of like a fitness type game, um, Pokemon. -y, I guess Pokemon Go to some degree. Um, I don't think it's as advanced as Pokemon Go. Um, and what we're going to look at here is um, is what's interesting here actually is in terms of you know going beyond an open sea view of of uh, NFT marketplaces where people are just listing and trading, uh, and that's you know you need good user experience, I suppose, and you need um, sort of security and that sort of stuff. Um, I think for games you need something a bit different. So what we have actually up here, we can see now for the first one, we have a live game. So of all these sort of projects, um, Mini Royale is the only one that's actually live. So this is the only game you can play at the moment. All these ones are just you're buying, you're buying assets, and you can trade the assets. Um, some of them have NFT, or they, they, all these have NFT. Some of them have tokens as well. Um, but Mini Royale is the only game that is live now. It's not in the sense of, of it being live. You can't sort of do very much at the moment. At the moment we can own these NFTs, so we can click on Mini Royale as, as an NFT trading project. Um, we can see here, um, so these are these NFTs, uh, these are the avatars, so if you buy one of these you can then use that in the game. That, it doesn't give you any advantage, it's just a cosmetic, um, 
at the moment at least, just a cosmetic uh, avatar. Um, they're going to be having uh, token-based stuff coming in and play, play to earn features um, in the coming uh, weeks and months. But what's interesting here, as you can see, it's actually um, trying to load in at the moment. So, so because this is a browser-based game um, and this is a browser-based uh, marketplace, they've actually integrated Mini Royale into this. So, so I've just sort of clicked on Mini Royale here and it's come up, or I can also sort of click, click on here. I'll probably get this to the same page, so it's not going to reload. Um, let's go home and then so we can click on here and it's going to um, yeah, load up that same page. So this is just loading in, so you can see here, uh, because, I've, because I'm signed in with my... Um, Solana wallet, then it picks up my uh, inventory, uh, picks up my game account. Uh, that's how I'm logged into that. Um, I'm pretty terrible at this game, so um, uh, <laughs> no surprises there. So my daily rank's pretty rubbish. Um, so you get typical sort of things we'd expect in this sort of first-person shooter. Um, but we can go here and look at my account, so we can see here um, how rubbish I am. So um, yeah, so kills, lots of deaths, not so many kills. <laughs> um, uh, and so what's gone on there? I've not played many games, not in a clan. Um, I've selected some of these orbs, which is sort of like an in-game currency, but not a cryptocurrency. Um, so uh, you can actually see... Um, so this is going to show, this is my wallet, so my this is the wallet that I've connected. So I've got 4.8 SOL tokens in here, um, and that's the sort of, um, and I can only link, obviously only link one wallet. I can unlink and relink. Um, yeah, okay, so that's what's going on there. Um, in terms of what I've got here, um, so if I get this right, I can change these avatars. So these are the, these ones here, these first five are just the, the default in-game avatars. And then these ones here, the ones you can see with the little, um, uh, I don't know quite what the logo for that is, but anyway, <laughs> um, these are ones that I've actually um, bought. So these are avatars that I've actually bought. So if I wanted to, um, I could play as this character or I could play as this character in the game. Um, I don't really do that because I'm such a terrible player. It seems seems a bit embarrassing to have a, have a good avatar. Um, so we'll stick with those. Um, but you can see over time how this builds up. You know, you're going to have these. They released how many, a few thousand of these um, avatars to begin with. Um, over time, uh, I'm sure there'll be more sort of special edition ones that will come out or ones that will be kind of rewards if you if you win tournaments or place well or, um, you know, unlockables, all that sort of stuff can happen. Nothing on the weapon side at the moment. So these are just... Um, these are just standard um, weapons; they're not selling weapons yet. Um, but you can, um, yeah, you can kind of see how this sort of stuff plays out. Um, and this is you can build uh, it's hats. There's no hats yet. I'm sure people like people like hats, don't they? So anyway, you can sort of build out your loadout here, um, and uh, you can choose your parachute skin. And uh, there's different yeah, different loadouts for different um, types of mode. Um, so. I have got some parachutes, not NFTs, but just yeah, you can sort of see how, how this how this goes, and you can obviously set different um, different things for for different um, loadouts. So yeah, so what's interesting really is is I think that we can see with Fractal, even though it's very early days, you know, I don't think necessarily all these games can be integrated within the within the marketplace because some of these are going to be um, well, Geno Pets is a mobile game, um, and some of these are going to be probably PC games. I think certainly over time. Like PC download games rather than PC browser games, so you're not going to do this for all of these. But you can kind of see how marketplaces um, are also a discovery mechanic, and also if you can have games that that work within the marketplace, um, then the marketplace becomes a bit more of a platform. I guess over time, Fractal will be will hope to become a sort of a, a a place where people are coming, they're trading stuff, they're also playing games. You could launch new games through here. Um, so uh, that's sort of interesting to see. Um, I guess should we just should we just play a game? See, see, see what, see what if I'm gonna play a game. So see, check it work. It's working. Um, is it actually gonna do anything? It's other thing. Does it work? <laughs> Doesn't appear to be. Okay, so um, looks like it's working now. Let's take a bit of time to um, load up, um, and now you can see you're going to see my terrible um, skills. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we won't show all this because it's a bit embarrassing. Um, but uh, there we go. So this is just the um, this is like a team-based deathmatch sort of thing. So you can see here, I'm the only one with an NFT. It looks like that everyone else is just using the default skins. Um, whether this is a good experience to play this sort of within this browser rather than full screen, I don't know. I mean, that, that is a little bit, um, maybe it could be a little bit disconcerting. Um, so I'm playing as a hot dog with a, with a shotgun and I haven't got my headphones on, so I don't need my side. 